Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. Alright, so I am going to be doing a general reading for you guys. Uh, this is going to not resonate with everyone. Some pieces could be your story and some pieces may be not even for you completely. It could be someone else's story. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it because every reading is not going to be your reading. So make sure you watch with an open mind and discernment. All right, so um, Cancers. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So right off the bat, guys, I was getting an energy around warning for you all. And what I mean by that is that there is like some sort of energy. And with this particular energy, it's like you've been targeted by some sort of spirit or someone is using a spirit to target you and to cause destruction in your life but it's it's not even so much as destruction but distraction it's like people are being used to distract you and it's people that are close to you i'm hearing something going on with a mother or a maternal figure in your life being used I'm also getting here something around a soulmate but like a fake soulmate not really a soulmate yeah see here the clouds didn't I tell you confusion there's someone sending some sort of confusion into your life where you can't see things clearly and they're using people that you love to cause confusion in your life to cause chaos in your life the clouds is what came out this is what I'm saying there's something you don't see and you don't see it because someone is intentionally trying to block you from seeing it so that you are vulnerable and you can be easily preyed upon. You can fall prey to something easy, easily there. And they're using people. They're using a soulmate. And for others, I feel like they're using, um, again, some sort of maternal figure in your life or some sort of woman. If, we got here the stork coming in. I feel like they're trying to stop you from your, they're trying to prevent you from getting to your destination. It's like a, the enemy is trying to attack you. But it feels like they're working with someone that also like a, a like it's like a spiritual deity is working with someone in the physical realm and they're both collaborating to try to block you to try to stop you and they're working together to use people that you love to cause chaos in your life and again to get you to be susceptible to falling prey to the negativity and drama that these people are bringing into your life because they don't want you to reach your destination they don't want you to reach your destination they want you to stay stuck. So you may be experiencing like some weird things around um, situations with people. They're using like close relationships. We got house. It was also in reverse. Hmm. What's going on in your house, in your home? Spirit, what's going on? There's something about your home environment or maybe the home that you grew up in. Tell me about this house. Did I, get, did I show you guys the house? It actually came out in reverse. There's something about home for you guys, whether this is your home or the home that you grew up in or how you grew up. Tell me more because it came out in reverse, which is giving me an indication that there are some sort of challenges around that energy. Yeah, the moon. I told you guys, see, there's something you don't see. We got clouds and the moon. Here is the moon, guys, and it's clarifying your home. Something that's not seen. You know what I'm getting here? Okay, so it's a number of things that's coming through, but one thing is standing out to me. Some of you are secretly unhappy in your home. 
and it could be, and it could stem from how you grew up and you may be feeling triggered right now and i feel like some of you may not even be aware that how you grew up is affecting the present state that you're feeling in your home so like if you're suffering from depression it's like it's even if it's like maybe you're feeling depressed about a job and you think that it's about a job but it stems from something deeper maybe it's a relationship but it's not really like it's not to say you don't feel bad about it but i'm saying it to say it's something much deeper going on within that you don't really see And I feel like that's why God, I feel, because it, I felt like a warning. This reading felt like a warning. Like God is trying to get you to see something that you don't see. And I feel like it's this enemy. It's all stemming around an enemy that, a spiritual enemy. But I feel like working with someone in the 3D to cause chaos in your life. Does that make sense? And this is what I'm trying to get you, to get you guys to understand. Okay, I feel like there is like a person that's working with um some sort of spirit but this feels like someone that you may not even be thinking of or someone that you may have had an issue with a long time ago but they still hold a grudge against you so they're trying to use this spiritual deity to cause chaos in your life and for others it's just a spiritual deity that's trying to cause chaos in your life okay so i'm getting two different storylines for some of you there's a person that is working with this deity to cause some sort of confusion in your life so you don't see the root of it. And then there's another where it's just that deity trying to cause destruction. Either way, the ultimate goal is to block you. Whichever deity or whichever scenario is being used to block you from reaching your destination. They're trying to keep you stuck. And they want you to stay in the dark. What else can you tell me for cancers? I'm going to see what the uh, the issue is, though, around this home situation. Let me get one more card. Anchor, you're holding on to something. A child. See, childhood, I told you. Something, yeah, see the anchor. It's like you're holding on to something from your childhood, but you don't see it. And that's what we're about to uncover. See, again, the clouds. They don't see once you know you can be set free. That's the thing. That's how you get healed. That's how you let go. The thing is, you don't know. You don't know that what you've been holding on to since a child is blocking you. They don't want you to know about this. They want you to stay stuck. They want you to stay depressed. They want you to, to feel uninspired. They don't want you to go and create. They want to keep you stuck in your home negative. They want to keep you stuck in your home depressed. Because when you feel that way, you don't want to create. You don't want to inspire people. You don't want to heal. You don't want to grow. You don't want to raise the vibration of the planet. They want to keep you stuck. And it's like once you know you're free. See, public. It needs to be made public. The garden is about, this is my public card. So we're about to see what this is about. Something you've been holding on to since a child is blocking you from moving forward. We're about to see. All right, I'm going to use this deck. It's interesting because I grabbed this deck and it, the bottom card says an advocate. Inspires you to put compassion into action. And remember I was saying, I feel like uh, it's like you have like this small vision right here. Or you have some sort of vision that I feel like you don't feel inspired to bring into fruition because all of because this energy right here is blocking you. But I'm also getting here with this advocate. And remember, we talked about a child. And look, she's sitting here by herself. You didn't have any support. That's why you, you're stuck. That's why you're stuck because you're doing it by yourself. You don't have an advocate. There was no one there to make you feel safe. There was no one there to support you, to help inspire you. You had to do it all by yourself. See, the mountain is next. A hero. You had to be your own hero. 
That's what I'm giving here. That's interesting. Yep. That's what I feel like you're holding on to. And I'm not, and I'm seeing here that that's what's causing this grief and causing you to not feel inspired right now. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, it's like you're feeling lost. And maybe you're feeling lost because you feel like you don't have that support. You've had to do it all by yourself since you was a child. You had no one to hold on to. Tell me about cancers. What's this moon with them as a child? What are they holding on to? Oh. See here, athlete. That's what I'm saying. This, this, you have had, the thing about it is you've had to do everything by yourself. You had to be your own advocate and it has built strength. But because you've had to do it for so long, I feel like you've grown tired. Because it says here, development of personal willpower and strength. I feel like, yeah, this has, you have endured and it has made you stronger. But it doesn't mean that you don't want someone to support you. It doesn't mean that you don't want someone in your corner. And I feel like that's where that depression is coming from. Because it's like, I've been doing this all by myself. And I have not had anyone that I can rely on. You've always been that for other people. You've been the pit person that people can rely on. You've always been other people's biggest supporter. So it's like, where's my support? Here I am in my home, sad and depressed and not having anyone there to help inspire and motivate me, to support me. That's what I'm getting. Yep. See here, the martyr. Yep. The martyr. I told you that's you. You've been this martyr. And it says here, addiction to self-pity. And this is not judgment. This is enlightenment. It's, it's like you're in this energy of what about me? Spirit is not saying that you shouldn't feel this way. No one is saying it's wrong with feeling how you feel. But you need to know why you feel the way that you feel so that you can feel it. And you can heal it and you can do something about it. It says learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. That's what I'm saying. You have been giving yourself over to other people. You have been the martyr for others. By trying to be of service to other people. And it has worn you out. What else? Let's take one more. The alchemist. Look, see, working. It says transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Ain't that what I was just talking about? See, that's what I'm saying. It's like once you know, now you get back to work. See, it says transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. That's it's like I know now what's bothering me. Some of you may have to go deeper and get counseling. There is nothing wrong with therapy. We all need to go. We all should get some sort of, because we need some support and we need to understand why we feel the way that we feel, why we do the things that we do. We need to understand why other people do the things that they do so we can see things in a way outside of ourselves and our own thinking. And I feel like when you know things, Cancers, with this card right here, you take that wisdom and you turn it into something gold. You turn it into a golden opportunity for yourself. And I feel like you've been feeling stuck. You've been feeling stagnant because you've been feeling lost. What should I do? Spirit say, this is why you've been feeling lost because you're tired and you're tired of having to do it by yourself. You've been feeling unhappy and home, uninspired and unmotivated because you're feeling lost. And there's an enemy that's wanting to keep you there. Now that you know, you can do something about it. That's all this is. Is to give you insight to help lift the cloud so that you can see what you had not seen before. And what I want to add, guys, that I did not say is that how this childhood wounding shows up in your present life is it will show up where if you did not feel safe and supported, you may get into relationships and have a hard time with letting go. See how you have the anchor? So you may cling to people. But the thing about it is the clouds are coming through. So it's like your judgment is cloudy. It's like you want to believe that these people or this person, 
whoever you're dealing with in relationships, you may, you want to believe the best in them, even though they could be showing you something totally different. That's what I feel like. It's like that clouds represents for me, like smoking mirrors. It's like you're not seeing them for who they really are. You're not seeing these people for who they really are because you want to believe the best and you don't want to go back to having to be by yourself because it's triggering your childhood trauma of having to be by yourself and not have that support system. So that's how it's showing up in your relationships with this particular reading, holding on to people all because you don't want to be by yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the tarot. Put that right there. Let's see what what's, uh, what you need to know. Now that you know this, what is it that you need to know? Because I feel like there's something going on, and I feel like you need to know this for a reason. Because of something that I feel like is either going to take place or something that you need to do. Or all of the above. For some of you. We got the seven of swords. Yeah, someone's returning into your life. There's deception with them. They're carrying some sort of deception. Someone is returning to your life, but they're hiding something. You see how he has the seven of swords on his back? And so if you're standing there waiting for this person, you can't see those seven swords. So there's that's, that goes with those clouds. Someone is, this is why you need to know. You need to be prepared. You need to be able to see not just what's in your home and in your life, but people. You need to see this person and you need to see the deception that they're carrying. Because I feel like the clouds, something was being hidden, something you were not seeing. Tell me about this deception. We have here, what is this? This is the Ten of Ethems. This is the Ten of Swords. I probably botched that name. But the Ten of Swords is in reverse. What's in her hand? There's something, what she's doing? This is someone that betrayed you. Whoever this person is, they betrayed you before. And now they're coming back. But they're coming back with some deception. That's what you need to know. There is someone that betrayed you before. And they're coming back to rectify things. But they are carrying on. They're still carrying some sort of deceit. They're still lying. Or they're keeping something hidden from you. So how you will know this person or recognize this person is because they lied to you before. They betrayed you before. And they're coming back. We got the witch. What did I tell you guys? Th didn't I tell you? See, here it is. You see this witch? I told you. Look, there's the crow. Someone is doing divination or spirit work on you. That, and that's what I was telling you guys about with that, with those clouds. You may not see it. Some of you may not even believe it. But there is something for some of you out there where there is a witch here in the physical realm working with spiritual deities to attack you. And they're using people to attack you. They're using this person to do so. They want you to stay stuck. They don't want you to reach the destination that God has for you. Somebody is definitely going round and round and round, constantly looking into your life, constantly doing things to attack you. We're going to see who that person is. We're going to see. This is someone in the physical world doing something against you. Let's first, I'm still trying to understand, because Spirit is wanting you to know that there is someone in this world that is doing this to cause some sort of chaos in your life. Tell me more. We got here the Knight of Wands. What's the underarm energy for this? And then we got here the Eight of Cups. So you know what, guys? Let me tell you who this person is. This is someone that will come in and out of your life and they're never, they're very indecisive. 
It's like, I feel like when they initially walked away from you, they felt like at that time it was a bad choice. So whoever this person is, they walked away from you or they let things just, you know, dissipate. They just, they didn't fight for the connection. Either way, they let go and they did nothing about it. But at that time, they were thinking it was a bad idea. I'm also seeing here that even right now, they're thinking about coming back to you. But they are carrying something right here and right here. There's something that they're carrying. And we already know there is some sort of deception attached to this person. There's another deck I'm being led to use. Let me grab it. So I grabbed the deck that I was led to use. But um, I want to say here, guys, that I feel like there is some sort of trap that this witch is trying to create for you. They're hoping you walk into it. Because I'm also seeing right here. Yep, didn't I say walk into it? Yep, they want you to walk into some sort of trap. And I'm seeing a spider. And it's giving me like that Black Widow vibe. And look, what is this? This is the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone, I feel like someone is using, and, and, and they're trying to cause confusion. Part of their spell work is to, so you don't see them. So that you don't see that it's something spiritual that they're working with to cause this in your life. Because they want you to walk into the trap. They don't want you to see that this is like some sort of spell work or black magic or, um, you know, this trap that's being set. They don't want you to see what it actually is. They want you, like I told you, they want you guys to stay stuck. And not even, see, so you need to understand that this depression in your home or whatever, some of you, you're holding on to something from your childhood, but it's not just that also, you know, you still got this other part of this deity that wants to keep you um, broken. So you've got like two things coming at you. Well, three, if you count this person that they're using, why did you want me to use this deck? Vulnerable. See, God is trying to warn you. So you don't fall prey. So that you don't become vulnerable. Someone is going to try to get your guard down. Yeah, they want, like I told you guys, they want you to walk into some sort of trap. And look, walking into, look at this is set. Something is being set for you to walk in. There's the black widow right there. There is some person. They want you to, they want you to hurt like they did. The three, this is the three of swords. Someone is wanting to cause you pain. That's the trap. This is someone that feels like you're responsible for the pain that they went through. And now they want to cause you pain. What else do you want cancers to know with this deck? Why did you want me to use this deck? We got fame that flipped over. glasses again it goes back to not being able to see tell me more good news something see i told you you got something good coming your way something that's going to make you popular because it says fame you're going to be known you're going to be known for doing something and I'm seeing a breakthrough. And they don't want this to happen. Yep, abundance. See, here's a woman. It said this is some sort of woman who sees your abundance. They see the abundance that's going to be gifted to you. But it's not gifted to you, though. I feel like you've had a very long journey. It just speaks to your favor. And it speaks to the blessings on your life. You've, you've been through a lot. We already talked about how you've had to endure the toughest times by yourself, even as a child. That's why you're so independent. That's that athlete. What you went through, even as a child, made you stronger as an adult. That's why you can persevere. That's why you can get knocked down and get back up. 
And it's also the favor that God has over your life. And because of that, that's where this is coming in. It's like you've endured a lot. And here comes the good news. Here comes the blessings. God is wanting you to know that there is some sort of good news coming your way. And whatever this good news is, you're going to be very famous for it. And I'm not talking about this does not feel famous like rural ride. But I'm saying like in your circle, in your community, you're going to be known for something good. And for some of you, it could be rural ride. I mean, I'm not going to say that that's not the case for some of you but that's just what I'm talking about with this um, reading we got wisdom and diligence see your diligence your hard work not giving up has led to wisdom it's made you stronger and it's made you wiser your journey the lessons that you've learned I'm seeing here something about the book. There's a book right here. And this, I'm giving her something around, look at here, spiritual. I was just about to say that. You see spiritual and a book. There's something about the book, um, some sort of spiritual book. Yep, see solitude. Having to be by yourself. And I feel like having to learn. Having to grow spiritually. That's what that book is like. A book of knowledge. Learning spiritually. And that's how you were able to learn. You had to be by yourself. Because God doesn't want you to rely on anyone. But you and God. You had to be by yourself. Because there was things that you learned. In dealing with these people. And dealing with your adversities. There is some sort of wisdom that you gain. Spiritual wisdom. You can see right through stuff now. There's something about your spiritual eye. And how you can spot BS. How you can spot fake people. Someone has been trying to taint it. Because they know how discerning and intuitive you are. Someone has definitely been trying to taint that. You have like some sort of psychic or spiritual gift where you maybe get like dreams or you get visions or you have like these knowings and you don't know how you know. You just be knowing someone was trying to put smoke around that, trying to block your gift out of greed. Stop looking. Listen. Yeah. Spirit is saying stop because you're about to go off this cliff. There's a trap that's waiting for you. Someone is working out of greed, out of selfishness, out of bitterness. And God is saying, stop. I don't want you to go off this cliff. I need for you to see with your spiritual eye, not your physical 3D eye. God is saying, I need you to see with your spiritual eye. You've been prepared for this. But someone is trying to block you. So you don't see. God is saying stop. I'm warning you. You've been ignoring the signs. Or you've been missing the signs. Because of this clouds. Clouds came out twice. Someone is working against you spiritually. And it's not just one person. Remember I showed you the woman. And now here comes a man. A woman and a man. Let's pull one more card. Before we go back to the tarot. Oh, I'm being called to use another deck as well. The stranger. Clarity. You're going to get some sort some someone you don't know. Someone you don't know is going to give you some sort of clarity or help you see something you did not see. And they're being sent to you by God. The master. The creator. Yep, we're going to put that right there. God is sending someone you don't know to help give you some clarity. This could be a mentor. This could be you watching a video. I'm not saying this is you watching this video. I'm saying outside of this video, there is someone that you don't know that's going to help you get some sort of clarity where you're feeling confused or some of you may not even think you're confused or think that there is this cloud around you. God is letting you know there is. And there's some sort of clarity you're going to get through a stranger. Like someone is going to reveal something to you. We're going to see what that's about. The 
before I check into that person, um, they wanted me to use this deck. So let me get some cards out to see what they want to reveal. Hmm. If you know this, I, my attention was called to these five wands. I feel like somebody could, this witch could have been working with multiple people. But I feel like, I feel like someone does not want to work with this witch anymore. And they may be, this could be the person that's going to come and give you some sort of clarity. Because the five of wands is in reverse. They don't want this for you. Because I feel like of something that, some sort of backlash they could have been getting. We'll see. Let me um get some more cards out. But that stranger is definitely, and look, there's clouds behind the stranger. Look at that. The clouds. They're really calling my attention. All right, Spirit, what's with this deck that you wanted me to use? Okay. The mystic circle. Your abilities will be enhanced. And we talked about the circle. Look at here. The mystic circle. Something being done spiritually. See, look at that. That's a circle. And even right here, these people, there's a circle of people. There's a circle of people. There's a circle right here in this book trying to curse you. The spiritual circle. Look, the seer against you. They're coming against you because you're a seer. Because I told you, because of your spiritual eye. Because you know too much. Especially about them. And they blame you. Some of you could have predicted something about someone. And they feel like you're at fault. For whatever demise or downfall they're experiencing. There's something about your spiritual gift and your spiritual eye. Your abilities. Because it says here your abilities will be enhanced. They have been trying to take away your spiritual discernment. Break your confidence. Break your soul. They've been working against you all because of your spiritual gift. You're the seer. Follow your intuition. They've been trying to get you to not follow your intuition. To second guess yourself. And, you, and so you don't even see. They've been trying to make you paranoid. They don't want you to see that there's an issue. They want you to keep going on with your life and thinking that uh, it's just happening. It's not just happening. It's intentionally happening. Because if you think it's just happening, you're not going to do anything about it. You're going to stay stuck. You're just going to think that it's just life. And it's not just life. You're being attacked. You're being spiritually attacked. And someone is doing it from a distance. And they're mad because they feel like there's something about your gift. Something that you could have re revealed. Something that you could have said. Or something that they're afraid of, your say of you saying. And they're trying to attack you for it. I told you this all is stemming from your spirit. Something about your spirituality and who you are. Beware who you trust. The wolf. The wolf. Can you guys, let me um, adjust the lighting so you can see that. Can you guys see, you see it? Yeah. See? Beware who you trust. I told you someone is coming back into your life, but there is some deception attached to them. They're going to be used to break your heart and to keep you stuck in that pain because they feel like, you're the reason why they're in pain. Something about your gift. But look, we saw good news. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. They can't stop it. You know who your boss is? Do, you, do they know who you work for? Let me remind you in case you forgot. You work for the creator. The creator is all-knowing. You're on assignment. That's what they don't realize. Your boss is the creator. You've been called to be this alchemist. To transform low vibration and negativity into power, into healing. You use the pain that you go through and transform it into healing for others, healing for yourself. That's why, see, strong. That's why you had to go through things alone to build you for this fight that you're up against. But you're not fighting it alone.
but making you tough against the things, adversities, and challenges that comes your way. So it's like even though you went through what you went through alone, Spirit is saying it was happening to prepare you for the battles of life that you're going to endure as you make your path, your journey to your destination of what God has called you to do and be in this life. Of what you came into this lifetime to do. They ain't, they not attacking you because you are nobody. They not attacking you because you're not powerful. They're not attacking you because you can't do anything. You don't have any gifts. They're attacking you because of your power. They're attacking you because of who protects you. They're attacking you because of your gifts. They're attacking you because they know you got abundance coming your way. Spirit is warning you, be careful who you trust. There's someone coming into your life that's being used to cause you pain and to keep you stuck in that pain so you don't move on. A serpent, a sly and subtle approach is going to be needed. Yep, see, seduction. Someone's going to try to seduce you with romance. It says passion and romance await. Someone is going to try to seduce you. They're going to come back in and try to talk a good game. They're being used to distract you. They're being used to hurt you. So you don't want to move on. Here they are. That seven of swords, right? A spirit is letting you know. A sly and subtle approach is going to be needed with the serpent. That's being sent. It says the forces of nature favor you. You see that? Shield, you are safe from harm. Didn't I tell you guys that? This is what God is wanting you to know. They're going to try, but we want you to be aware. And here is your warning. And also let you know, you are safe. The forces of nature, the universe. So God is using your environment. So even while you're in your home, maybe feeling down and out, even in your home, you're safe in your environment. Even when you go outside, some of you maybe have like uh, animals or certain like signs coming. God is using like, like certain insects to give you signs to let you know you're safe. They're all around you. And I feel like some of you haven't been paying attention or haven't noticing it because of the clouds. So like if you've been seeing certain bugs or, you know, certain numbers, it's all a sign. Nature. God is using nature to let you know they're coming, but you're safe. Honor. God is honoring you. Honor and good luck. God is honoring you with good luck. They may try, but it won't prosper. They will try, but it won't prosper. So tell me about this person that's coming your way. And then we'll see what this stranger is all about. And we'll wrap up your reading. Tell me about this seven of swords. This person that's coming cancer's way with this deception. Because they're carrying something. And remember, God is saying, stop, look, look, stop, look and listen. With, with this person, stop, look, and listen. Listen to what they're saying. Look at what they're doing. And don't move forward. It says stop. It didn't say move forward. It says stop, look at them, listen to them. Look at their actions. Look at how they're portraying themselves. Look at their body language and listen to what they're saying. Tell me about this seven of swords that's coming Cancer's way. The Queen of Wands. And then we got here the Queen of Swords. Look at that. What is this about? You're preparing. Oh, you are preparing for it. Didn't I tell you using nature? So here are even birds. Even birds are a sign. Let me, is my, um, let me adjust my lighting. Mm -mm, sorry guys, let me turn that down. Uh, my apologies. Let me get the light right. Okay, so sorry about that. So yeah, the Queen of Swords. See, here's the message. Remember, a stranger giving you clarity? For some of you, that stranger is going to be an angel in disguise. An angel in disguise. Here it is. The messenger. Get, so look, she has her sword. She has a sword in her hand. Preparing. For this person that's coming. Here it is right here. 
protection at your door. There's an ancestor. There's an older woman that's looking out for you. That's not here though. This is someone and that is no longer here. There is a woman in the spiritual realm that's sending messages your way. You may have even had a dream about this person, but I feel like it was so subtle because the clouds, you probably didn't think anything of it. Maybe you had a dream about a past loved one. And you probably thought like, ah, oh, you know, it, it didn't really make sense to you then, but it's making sense to you now. Clarity. They sent you a warning. She's letting you know, I'm protecting you in the spirit world. Here's the message. They're coming. This person is coming. Yep, see, setting the trap. Look at the, look at the, setting a trap. I told you guys. They're trying to set you set you up. They're using something dark. And you know how they're going to set you up? With this Ten of Pentacles. This person is going to be everything that you could have imagined on paper. On paper, they're going to be everything. They're going to come. This is someone that may even have money. They may have a house. They may have kids. This is all a look, though. You're going to think this person has it all together and they're going to have money. They may even have a job. That's how they're setting you up. They're setting you up by make, by it looking exactly like you think it's supposed to look, but it's a trap, but you're going to be prepared now. Tell me this person's intentions. Look at here. Intimidating. You're going to be ready. You're going to be ready. You're going to be ready. Narcissist. Ah. Here we go. Yes. Whoever this person is, they're a narcissist. Or they have the characteristics of one. And you know exactly who I'm talking about. What is this? Yep. See, unfinished business. This is someone that you have not gotten closure from or the situation is still in limbo. But here, didn't I tell you lying? This person is still a cheater. There's still someone else in their life and they text and communicate with you. They're still talking to someone else and they're narcissistic or has the traits of a narcissist. Tell me this person coming. Tell me about this person coming cancer's way. With this trap. I feel like while they're setting a trap for you, spirit is setting a trap for them. Again, here is narcissist. Yep, it's coming out. Yeah, see, because they, they're messing with the wrong one. Because remember, this is the nature card. So while they're set in a trap, look at who's watching. Your spirit animal. There's a spirit animal watching. They see it. They see that this person is trying to set a trap. But something is going to happen to them. You're, I told you someone is watching over you too. This could be a grandmother. This could be an aunt. This is an older woman though. And she's watching over you. Tell me about this person. Thirsty. We got thirsty. This person is thirsty. They're dating a lot of people. They're online. They're in some sort of situationship. And they're very indecisive. They don't know what they want. That's why they have to date multiple people. Because they don't know what they want. And they're in a situationship. And then, yeah, here comes you. Didn't I say, how did I tell you they're going to try to get you? Good intentions. And I feel like part of this uncertainty is you. Like, can I trust this person? That's what I'm telling you. You're gonna, They're going to come across like they got good intentions, but it's a trap. Didn't I tell That's why Spirit showed the Ten Pentacles. It's a trap. It's going to look like they got these good intentions. Look at here. The High Priestess. Dark. High priestess and the witch. It's a trap. Uh-oh, this person is a narcissist. It may look good in the beginning. It may feel good in the beginning. But once they get you home, once they pull you in, here comes the draining. Here comes the gaslighting. Here comes the emotional abuse. For some of you, it could even be physical abuse. Spirit is saying, wake up. I want you to see this. I want you to get to the heart of the matter. I want you to have clarity. I don't want you to walk into this with your heart on your sleeve. Go in as the queen of swords, protecting yourself, having strong boundaries with this person, seeing right through their BS. 
being willing to cut them out of your life. Because she's, she's very intelligent, the Queen of Swords. She's learned her lessons. Look at the experience. Look at the, uh, look at the situations previously you've been in with this person. Or other people. How do you feel? Do you feel safe with this person? Do you feel like you can trust them? How, don't walk into something that you don't feel safe in. This person is going to drain you. And I feel like they're thirsty for a lot of different people. Not just you. In general. Tell me more about this person. Then we're going to see what the, what's going on with the stranger. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone that's, that, that's um, older. Or at least they come across um, older. Like at least they should be. They know better. Put it that way. This is someone that knows better. But I'm also getting here. There's some sort of influence. Tell me what's going on. I feel like whoever this person is. I feel like they're scared. There's something that's bothering them. Again, yeah, here comes the Ten Pentacles. Again. Tell me more, guys. There, hold on a second. Let me get to the bottom of this person's energy. There's something not right with them. And I'm not just talking about this narcissist. There's some sort of... See, here's a child coming in. There's something that they're scared about, though. That's on their mind. And see, here a child. See, here's a pregnancy. I feel like it has to do with some money. Remember I told you they're keeping a secret? They're older. I feel like this is someone that may be at a point in age where they were not expecting on having any more kids or they or this is someone that doesn't want any kids. But I or or but I feel like there's something going on with a pregnancy or with a child or a baby's mother. Now, what that situation is, let me see, because obviously it's coming up in your reading. So, why do you need to know about this? See, didn't I tell you an older man? This is someone older. And so I feel like they're concerned about a child or pregnancy or, like I say, some sort of baby's mom. So it's going to be different for everyone. It's not going to be the same, but just to throw out some of the different scenarios. But there's some sort of fear that they have. Uh, here it is again. See, pregnant. I told you guys. Now, what is this about? And then we got here a female relative and a new car. I don't know what this female I see. Now, see, this is where the story becomes too much more. And I'm not looking to do a long reading for you guys. At least I wasn't just reading around. I'm going to try to keep this shorter than I anticipated. Now, there's something going on with them as it pertains to a female relative. It looks like they could have bought a new car. Or there's something going on with a car. And then a secret pregnancy. See how this is in the dark? I told you there's some they there's something going on with the secret pregnancy for this person. And that's why we saw the older man. I feel like this is someone that either doesn't want any kids or they're too they're at an age where it's like you're having more kids now. Something around that for you guys. Or you could be the one that's pregnant and this person is older. Like so again, it's not going to be down to a T. This is the story. So take it how it resonates for you. We're seeing here a karmic. I fell in love with potential. And then here comes the divine feminine. And here is a clown. So I feel like whoever they were dealing with. Remember I said they both cheat though. So I feel like they were in a relationship with someone. But I feel like they are. They got a secret pregnancy going on on the side with someone else. Now, what about this female relative? I feel like when you find out about this situation, I feel like it's going to give you clarity. I feel like it's going to make you look at the situation differently. See, here it is, the other woman. There's something going on here with the female relative and the quote-unquote other woman. 
and I'm seeing GPS tracking and I'm seeing an X. Something messy is going on over here and, and their female relative is involved. I feel like this is you and then there is an X and then we got tracking. I feel like someone's ex has been trying to track you. But how does this female, remember I told you guys earlier, that's what this has to do with some of you. Remember I told you earlier that there is someone that's blaming you for what happened in their life? Here it is. And, and then here's the female relative. The female relative isn't attached to them. It's actually attached to this ex. They're tracking you. Now I see it. Because I thought that that's why they're scared. Because I feel like. Mm, mm. I feel like they're scared because this female relative and their ex are working together to cause some sort of havoc. And I feel like they're trying to track you down too. GPS tracking. Remember I told you guys? And that's why Spirit is letting you know, be careful who you trust. This person is carrying some sort of deception with them too. They're not innocent. They just got caught up. And they may try to use this person to find you. And then here they come to try to get you or do something to you. That's why Spirit is saying, be careful who you trust. You're protected, but you need to see this so you know. Be careful who you trust. This person's going to come in like, oh, we're, let, can we get back together? But then they have a nasty ex or someone else on the you know, side trying to come in towards you. Yep, see, karmic. And I feel like, what, tell me about the female relative. Why is this person, what are they playing in this? Jealous of friends. So I'm getting here, whoever this female is, they're a jealous person. What else about this female relative? See some pictures. Again, a lot of karma keeps coming in. Important message. I feel like there was something like that you sent them. Some sort of message. Something that you, some sort of message that you could have like wrote a letter. You could have wrote a letter to them. You could have texted them. There was some sort of communication between the two of you. And I feel like they saw it. And I feel like this karmic showed this relative. I don't know why. I still don't. I feel like this female relative knows about this. I'm still trying to understand more about this female relative though. It's like whoever they are. They seem like. Like, a, like this karmic could just tell them anything. And they'll go along with it. We got family man. I saw that with the jealous of friends. Shady. I don't know guys. I'm still trying to understand the uh, female relative. I feel like there's some jealousy though. But I don't understand how is this connecting with you. I'm going to take one more card. If I can't get it, I'm just going to move on to this stranger giving you clarity. Retalia. It's all about retaliation. I told you, yep, they're trying to retaliate against you. This person is just going along for the ride. Because I feel like this female relative feels as though this person needs to stay with their uh, family member. I don't understand. What is the Why is this female relative jealous or something going on with friends? Can you help me understand the jealous of friends? This is just for me, guys. I need to understand why that car came out. Self-sabotage. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Sorry, I don't understand what they're trying to tell me. There's a bird there. What are they doing? I feel like they're trying to sabotage. They're trying to sabotage the both of you. The, they're working to get you and the other person. That's why I told you they're scared. That's what it is. 
they're working to retaliate against you and the person that because the, the friend the female relative feels like they should stay with their family member and the ex is mad at you because they're not together they're trying to track you down they want to either way both of them want to make both of you pay the family member and this karmic wants to make you and this other person pay and they're scared of the retaliation All right, so let's see what this stranger is about. Because that's a whole nother rabbit hole. I'm not trying to go down that. But I feel like there's something going They can, And maybe because they have a secret. This looks like two people could be pregnant. So I feel like the karmic could have been pregnant. And then there was a secret pregnancy. For some of you, you could be the person that had a secret pregnancy. But I'm getting here two pregnant people. One is a secret and one is out in the open. And for other people's storylines, this could be the karmic height in the pregnancy. But like I said, they were they're out to try to get you guys. But spirit is letting you know you are protected. Tell me about this stranger that's going to give clarity. See, here it is, the Holy King. Holly Queen. I'm sorry, the Holly King. Either way, I said it as holy, so I, it's to someone spiritual that's going to be giving you some sort of clarity. This is a guide. This is some sort of spiritual clarity. There's going to be some sort of stranger, quote unquote, but it's a spiritual stranger. This could be like even a shaman or someone walking up to you on the streets, giving you some sort of like message or again, watching a reading, but not this reading, but there's going to be something else where you're going to get some sort of message to give you clarity. And this is to guide you. Because that's that hermit to guide you. We got the Ten of Cups is coming in. To guide you towards your true Ten of Cups. That's why they're letting you know this right here, whatever this was, this was not real. Take the veil away. They're lifting the veil so you can see it. And so that you can be led towards the destination of your true Ten of Cups. You have Ten of Cups. This will stop you from getting your real Ten of Cups. Getting caught up in these distractions. You're being guided to safety and to your true Ten of Cups. This is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, no longer having to wait. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Because see, here it is. You've been working, right? Waiting. Well, now you no longer have to wait. You have someone. Let's see what we can find out uh, about what's coming. Let's see. What is coming Cancer's way? Yep. Look at here. Delays. See, they were trying to delay you. Frustrated by slow results. Didn't I tell you now it's about to be lifted? See, a brick wall blocked for your highest good, though. What they were trying to stop. Spirits say, we were stopping things for your highest good. We're stopping this, you being with this person, for your highest good. They're coming with some deception. Careful when you trust them. They're going to make it look good. They're going to offer you the ten pentacles. But Spirits say, you got ten cups. We got here, take a chance. It's time to take a risk. Get out of your comfort zone. And remember we saw clarities. You're going to get some sort of answer. See, mystery reaches its resolution. Having answers and clarity. Problems will be resolved. Closure from the past. That's what it says. Closure from the past. Remember that unfinished business? This is about to get wrapped up. Something that has been hanging over you for quite some time is about to come to a close. That situation is about to wrap up. See, you've been going round and round. But look at here, divinely guided. What you think was you going round and round was actually you being protected. What you think you having to be by yourself was actually you being protected. And it says it, you are protected. Divinely guided. From toxicity. Toxic situations and toxic people. What's coming Cancer's way with this Ten of Cups? You're being guided towards the Ten Cups. Oh, we got business. Work, career moves. So you not only do you got the Ten Cups, that's like love. 
you also got some business situation coming your way. It says work, entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success, earning more through work. See, they were trying to give you 10 pentacles, but you, you still got 10 pentacles coming your way. You got, you got more than just 10 pentacles. You're going to have love and money and abundance. We got here ghosting. This is for me. That's, I feel like there's something spiritual. This is what this is giving me. Like some sort of spiritual ghost. That's what I'm saying. I feel like there's going to be like some sort of stranger, but like an angel or something or someone maybe coming to you in your dreams or they're going to use, an angel's going to use someone to help give you clarity, to help give you divine guidance. And we got, yeah, see the past sadness. See, there was sadness from the past. Give you some sort of clarity, give you some sort of answer about why why it says here dealing with a lack of closure. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you're going to get closure and I'm seeing travel for you. Looks like you're going to be traveling. This could even be work traveling. What can you tell me about this 10 cups though? What else? Because that's there's someone holding you. Dating. Yeah, you're going to see and here comes a new opportunity. Yeah, it says Seeing somebody specific, being open to love, going on more dates, feeling good and flirty, new opportunities, starting over, reinventing yourself. And look at here, rebuilding. You're going to be getting out more. Some of you are going to meet this person traveling. But what you need to know is that you do have someone. The past, you're going to wrap that up. It's going to get wrapped up and you're going to be free seeing this travel you're going to be free to move on and you're going to be getting back out there being more open to love all right that's going to conclude our reading guys i wish you all the best bye